Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you because several of you have been asking, what is the Shamanic Mysteries of Egypt Mystery School? So that will remain a mystery actually until we're together. But on a very practical level, what it is, it's four events that take place starting in April of 2017 and again in October of 2017. And then it will be in the next April of 2018 and the fall, October of 2018. So it's four mystery schools. We'll have one evening and then five days together. And during this time, we're going to dive deeply into the shamanic mysteries of Egypt, the Anubis Oracle, and also some shamanic Egyptian astrology. These are three books that I co-authored with my sister shamans, Nikki Scully, with the first two books, and also with Ruby Falconer, who's been an astrologer for more than 30 plus years. I'm not sure how long, but a long time. And we're actually uh, the creators of that particular body of work. So we're going to dive deeply into those mysteries. And right in the middle of that, there's a group that's already going with me to Egypt. And we'll have a whole nother download of mysteries to add to the mystery school when we return for the second two segments. So why don't you follow me out Side, so you can kind of get a sense of where you'll be, your surroundings when you come. And you'll be staying here on my property or in one of the properties here at Isis Cove. And of course, this is Bastiste, and she's relatively new. She just came as a gift, and she's going down to my sanctuary that I call Venus Rising Wolf Den Sanctuary. So follow me out, if you will. And as you're coming out, you're going to notice that the leaves are just absolutely still stunning here. Although their colors are waning a little bit, they're still very beautiful. And it's a gorgeous fall day here. I want to remind you that today is November 2nd. So this is the day that it's a very appropriate thing to put out a spirit dish for the ancestors of their favorite foods and leave it out for them. We're a little careful here because of the bears this time of year. But this is a beautiful way to celebrate the life and passing of your loved one. And you can look out at the beautiful mountains here. And these leaves are changing and going through their alchemical process. We know that we all go through this. All humans, all creatures, all things, all beings. a good idea to on November 2nd to put out a little altar and to not only put a spirit plate but to also put out a photo of your loved one or if you don't have one you can also do a drawing of some kind for them and it's believed that they'll come and celebrate and let you know that they're here so this is the Wolf Den also known as Venus Rising Wolf Den Sanctuary and as you can see there's beautiful Isis outside to welcome you here. In the backyard here we have a sweat lodge and a fire circle and down the hill there's a creature teacher medicine wheel. And as you prepare to go in, Venus herself welcomes you, as do I. We've been doing a little bit of cleaning in here today because we have another mystery school beginning in two days. But I do want to show you some of the um, beautiful artwork that was actually in our book, Shamanic Mysteries of Egypt, that shows you all of the initiations. So all of these starting with this first one that starts with Isis and Nephthys, the dove, and um, Nekbet. 
and going through the journey of the shamanic mysteries of Egypt until we get all the way to the last initiation with alchemy and with the working with the great netters with all of the netteru. So we'll be working with all of those powerful images and deities and archetypes. And then we're going to turn around to this side of the room and um, so that you can see up on the, the shelf here many of the Egyptian deities that I've collected or that have been gifted to me over the years that will be part of our altars. And there's many other beautiful energies here that will be a part of our time together, but primarily we'll be focusing on the shamanic mysteries of Egypt. Now you might ask yourself, why would I do this now? Well, because ancient wisdom is perennial. It's in all of us, it's in our DNA. And that's what I discovered in my trip to Egypt in 2005. So I want to share with you that journey and help awaken that within you and deepen these mysteries because they're very relevant for our times right now as we all learn how to die and be reborn.